Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can read and write to a text file with C Sharp in Visual Studio 2008. And we're going to be using uh, system.io as it'll give us the uh, file or stream reader and stream writer methods, which is what we're going to be using. First, let's go ahead and write the small amount of code to um, open up the file that we're going to write to. Actually, not open it, but just put it into the text box, the whole file path. Okay, and let's go ahead and write the code to read the text of the uh, text file that we open up. So we're going to be stream reader, sr equals new stream reader. And the stream we're going to be reading is textbox1.text, which will be the file. And let's go ahead and shove uh, the entire uh, text that we read into that rich text box I created. And it'll be sr.read to end, and there's also read line, read block, and just plain old read. And we have to close our stream reader. And that was very simple. Now let's write the code to uh, write over, to write to the text file. So that's going to be stream writer. We're going to be writing to textbox1.text. And this is where you want to decide if you want to overwrite the file every time you write to it or you just want to append to it. And the way we do that is we're going to do comma and then I'm press the down uh, arrow key. And you see this, it says bool append uh, determines whether data is to be appended to the file. And we, you put false if you don't want it to append and you put true if you do want it to append. So we're going to go ahead and put true. and we're going to be sw.write <coughs> you can either do write or write line uh, let's do write line and we're going to be writing whatever we put in textbox2.text and make sure to close it or else it will not write to it and it will crash your program I know from experience alright here's our program select our text file and let's write hello there. All right, now let's read it back. And let's just clear out our text boxes. Now let's write another line. Hello there, second line. Write that to it. Read it. There we go. And if we didn't include that, uh, if we made this false, it would just overwrite it each time. So this is a good idea if you want to continuously write data to a text file. And that is all I have for you today. Um, if you'd like to know any more tutorials on C Sharp Visual Studio 2008, uh, leave a comment and make sure to subscribe to my videos. Um, also stop by my website and my forums, which is in my description. This is Quackware signing out.